So if you're watching this video, then like me, playing guitar brings you an immense amount of joy. So I was really scared a few weeks ago when I woke up in the morning and I could only get my finger, this finger right here especially, closed about this far instead of the normal this far, which is sort of all the way. So I, and then as well, this finger right here, this joint was really sore and I couldn't close it as much as I usually can. So I, I was really scared and uh, I was like, oh my gosh, is this the end of my guitar playing? What's going on here? I've been practicing uh, some Stevie Ray Vaughan songs, learning the lead licks, especially to Texas Flood a bunch over the last couple weeks before that. And uh, I guess my fingers were just, uh, they were just starting to be shot, sort of. So I got online and I started researching everything that I possibly could about how I could fix this problem. Um, if it was possible and what it was and <laughs> scary enough um, it it looked like I possibly had osteoarthritis which is basically overuse of joints and uh, so I started researching trying to find out what I could do to fix that problem and I've since found a lot of things and so I wanted to share those things with you if you're having any trouble um, or pain and uh, this can come from basically just practicing a lot you you're probably if you're practicing a whole lot um, especially tough guitar pieces then uh, you're probably going to experience pain at some point so here's some stuff you can do to help prevent that um, one of the first things was I was researching supplements that I could take and um, one that kept on coming up was fish oil or omega-3 omega-3 is like flaxseed oil um, so I brushed out immediately and I bought some fish oil this is like triple strength fish oil you can find pretty much any any sort of um, GNC or something like that and that's where I bought this um, so I started taking that um, that seems to be working uh, sort of so uh, I'm definitely feeling much better now but I'll explain everything that I've done so I started taking fish oil so you probably want to take fish oil because um, it, it helps lubricate your joints apparently um, if you're having pain or maybe even before you start having pain is a better idea um, I bought some glucosamine um, so glucosamine there's a lot of mixed studies as to whether it actually uh, it actually helps your joints or not, but I was willing to give it a try either way, and a lot of doctors do recommend taking glucosamine for, for joint pain. So I got some glucosamine, and then if you're taking glucosamine, you also want to take um, a multivitamin. That's what I read on Wikipedia and some other sites, because uh, it'll help your liver. Um, I think the B vitamins and multivitamins, uh, it helps your liver um, process the glucosamine. Um, I think if you're taking glucosamine, you don't want to take more than about 1,500 milligrams a day. So, But 1,500 seems to be sort of the proposed amount that you should take. Other than that, I started doing a lot of stretching. So Carl Brown, my friend at guitarlessons365.com, um, he um, he has a hand stretching video, so I'm going to show you some of those hand stretches that he teaches, and uh, they've really helped a lot. I now don't have any pain. Though when I wake up in the morning, I still my joints are a little bit sore. Um, once I do these stretches and, and start playing here lately, I've really had no pain when I'm playing guitar. So um, I'll show you a couple of those first. You start out by um, by massaging your arm to get all the blood throughout your arm. So you want to massage your arm and hands. Um, if you don't really know how to do this well, a good thing to do is to go get a hand massage from a professional masseuse, and then they can actually you can just watch the way that they do it and then you can sort of replicate that on yourself. So um, I've had hand massages, so I know sort of how to do this. So um, you want to start right up here. I started these kind of bigger muscles up towards the top. You can start at the top or bottom. I don't think it really matters. Um, but I start massaging right here on my arm, and I just sort of knead it like this. So I massage there, and you can really feel that in there in your elbow, kind of around your elbow. And I get the most pain probably because it all sort of starts up here. And then I also, this, this muscle right here, it goes down all the way to your pinky and fingers. You'll really feel that in there. So you want to massage there. I just use my part of my thumb right here so I massage this and my right hand hasn't bothered me at all but it's my fretting hand that really bothers me and I think usually does on most people so you can massage all down through there really do this thoroughly everything make sure anything that like hurts a little bit up in here you really massage well I usually do this for like two or three minutes and then uh, come down to your hands you can do all, all the big muscles in your hands so right here um, especially right in here you get a lot of pressure so really massage that well and whether you're having pain or not yet um, this is good to do just to start you know before every practice session 
it'll help prevent pain I think in the future so massage all down in there all the way up through the fingertips squeezing the fingertips and getting all the blood going everywhere in here so blah 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 and um, and then the first exercise that I've been doing is um, is actually taking your hand right here um, making a straight arm and uh, like this and taking bending back your finger just a little bit and then starting to work um, your fingers like that you can watch Carl's video as well because he teaches really in detail but you can really feel that when you do that when you pull back your fingers just like this and I do that on every single finger so every finger you bring it back like this and then you kind of uh, work your fingers down and you'll really feel when you do that and you want to do it for a while just really stretch it out every single finger just like that I'm just doing this really fast but like that and then taking your thumb and really stretching that back and uh, you want to just hold it in a position and just really get it all stretched out move it everywhere around there don't hurt yourself but really stretch everything out and once it's warmed up from the massage then it should be pretty much okay to stretch but don't do any of the stretches unless you've already warmed up your arm and really massaged it well otherwise you could you could hurt yourself and then the next one to do is just the opposite so instead of moving up like this you move your fingers down and then you stretch like this and you should feel this a little bit back here in the hand and then as well all kind of all throughout so I go down like this down like this and really move it as far as you can and this will also help as well for uh, for playing big chords stretch out your hands so there you go just like that and then I do some stretches for my wrist so just be really careful with this one going back this way and then what I do is I kind of like bend my fingers a little bit too so just really do that gently um, so you bring your wrist back like this and then Bend your fingers just ever so slightly. And then bend it back the other way. And just really bring it back. Cool. So um, that's kind of the main stretching exercises that I go through. But I just try and stretch out my hand. Also doing this right here. You can stretch out your fingers in between here. You can see that. So basically just stretching out your hand in every way that you possibly can think to stretch it out before you play and it will really help to reduce the pain and um, and help sort of like heal your hands over time getting all the blood running all through them. So that's the stuff that I found out. Also another thing that I did is I have uh, gauge 10 strings on my electric guitar. I had gauge 10 strings and so I've switched to gauge 9 strings. So I. I mean, obviously you notice a little bit of a sound uh, difference if you're playing clean stuff. If you're playing distortion, there really is no difference between nines and tens from what I can hear. I think over the course of my lifetime and all the practicing that I'm going to be continuing to do, it's totally worth saving my hands all of the, uh, the pressure of bending those, those tens over and over again, uh, all the wear and tear on my joints. I'd rather just switch to nines. So I've switched to nines on my electric guitar and I'm probably I might even switch to I've got 12s on my acoustic guitar but I might even switch to 11s on my acoustic guitar so I think um, you know being able to play guitar well for me is much more important being able to play well and having there be no pain is much more important than uh, you know not being able to play well because I can't practice <laughs> and uh, because I want to use bigger strings. So that's sort of the stuff that I've discovered. I hope this helps you guys out and uh, play guitar, be safe, and have a lot of fun.